Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated wash day routine from start to finish. If you've been watching me for the past couple of months, I've been doing a lot of different things to my hair lately, so I wanted to share a dedicated video on my current hair regimen. So I've been trying to wear my hair out more, so this is a 7 day wash and go, which I posted the video on. I used a Dew Texture Foam and Wet Line Gel, and though I liked it, the flakes were insane, so we're gonna fix that. <laughs> I also did not use my hair butter with this wash and go, which was a huge mistake, because my hair is kinda crispy. <laughs> so, first things first, I'm going to be drenching my hair in some warm water. You know, it's funny, like, I have heard so much about porosities and people trying to, like, tell me, like, what they think my porosity is, and I've always been like, you know, I don't know, and it does take me a long time to get my hair wet, but I don't think that's to do with my porosity but just the fact that I have a lot of hair so it just takes longer to get wet I've done the strand test before and it sank to the bottom but people are like that test doesn't work you did it wrong so I honestly just don't know at this point if you ever wonder <laughs> So something new that I have been doing is washing my hair every single week because again, I've been trying to wear my hair out more and do more wash and goes. And so I've been trying to do wash days more just for more content and to just get used to wearing my hair out more. And I've surprisingly been loving it. My hair has been doing really well. So I'm gonna keep that going. Okay, so once I finish wetting my hair, I'm gonna like put on my YouTube videos because I'd be so bored filming this wash day, especially cause this one's a voiceover, I'm not talking in it. But I'm gonna be using the shampoo that I'm working on for my hair care line. If you watch, I think the wash day before the last one I posted, I talked about how I've been working on a new shampoo for my hair care line and how I've been working on the formulation for weeks and finally got my first sample and I tried it and I loved it. It was about 85% done, just a couple of tweaks I wanted to make. So I talked to my manufacturer and we made those tweaks. And so this is the second sample with those new changes made and I am absolutely in love. I'm super excited for y'all to try it because I know people have been waiting for the longest for me to come out with new products. So that's definitely happening this year. So I just use my hands to apply the shampoo all over my scalp and then I love going in with a scalp massaging brush to really get my roots and just get all that dirt and gunk off my scalp. And it's just a lot easier than using your hands, I personally feel like, especially if you're wearing nails or something, it's gentler on the scalp and it honestly just makes it a lot easier. So I got this one from a company called The Innate Life. They sent it to me for PR like a month or two back. So I've just been using this one. But before that, I just bought like a $5 one from Walmart. So it don't have to be nothing special. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more shampoo and put it down the length of my hair. I used to only shampoo the roots of my hair, but especially with wash and goes, y'all know I use a ton of gel, a ton of product. I really want to make sure my hair is super clean because that helps a lot with the definition. And I love the shampoo because I'm using a lot and my hair still felt super hydrated and soft when I rinsed it out. And that's what I was like, the main thing I was looking for in the shampoo when we talked about it. So I'm glad that we got that because it feels so amazing. Then I'm gonna take my time and rinse all the shampoo out of my hair because I did use a lot. So I wanna make sure I get all of it. And I did get some in my eye, but the thing is when I was talking with my manufacturer, I said that the peppermint oil that I wanted in it, I didn't want it to be so much to where like your eyes would literally be burning whenever you were using it. Cause I did a wash day a couple weeks back with the Taraji P. Hinton line and literally I did like a wash day ASMR on my Instagram and my TikTok and it went super viral and everybody was like, are you okay? Are you upset? What's wrong? Why are you crying? And I'm like, no, literally it's just the peppermint was burning my eyes and making my eyes water. So I'm glad that this shampoo has the perfect amount because I did not like that feeling. So now it's time for deep conditioning. I'm gonna be using this one from TGIN. And my oil, which is a must have, I still do this. I will never stop doing this. This is like chef's kiss when it comes to getting the most out of your deep conditioning. I will forever say this tip.
And this step is actually where I made the biggest change with my wash day routine. If you've seen my wash days from like early 2023, you know I used to detangle my hair first, then twist my hair in sections, and then shampoo my hair in those twists to prevent my hair from retangling. But now, as you guys saw, I start off by shampooing my hair freely with no twists, and then I actually go in and detangle with my deep conditioner because of this tool right here. I did a review on this brush, I believe in like December, maybe during Vlogmas. And I tell y'all, I was so shocked with how good this brush was. This literally has changed the game for me. Especially with me trying to wear my hair out more often because I used to tell y'all all the time I don't do wash and goes with my type 4 hair because I just get too many tangles It takes forever for me to detangle my hair and I just get too much breakage But with this brush as y'all can see it's just gliding through my hair like I was so shocked This has made my natural hair care routine just so much easier I never tell y'all to like run and go get something but run and go get this okay run and go get this please also because i've been wearing wash and goes more definition has been my priority with my wash days so that's why i am going in smaller sections and applying the deep conditioner and detangling because i feel like it helps my definition the unbrush will definitely detangle my hair in much larger sections but i just feel like the definition is better this way and also it just ensures that i'm applying the deep conditioner to every single part of my hair because i feel like sometimes if i go in big sections i'll be missing spots all right, so I'm going to shut up for like a minute or two so y'all can watch me detangle my hair. Some of y'all have said this is relaxing for you guys, so I aim to please. I know I said I would shut up, but if y'all see my mouth moving, it's because I'm on the phone with my manufacturer actually talking about the restock of the products. Literally this morning, I woke up to like 50 emails asking about the restock of the products. And y'all, I promise if I could be restocked, I would. But unfortunately, there are just some things out of my control. There were some delays that were unexpected and nothing I could do about. So I am waiting just like you guys. But I promise you, I'm working as fast as I can. One of the products is already completed. I'm just waiting on the second product and then having to ship everything. So the latest will be sometime next week. I know I said that last week, but I really mean it this time. So y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm working around the clock. Trust me, they will be in stock soon. <laughs> Okay, so once I'm done applying all the deep conditioner and my hair is fully detangled, I'm going to put a Walmart bag on my head. I used to do this a lot earlier in my natural hair journey, but I haven't really been consistent with it in the past, I want to say year. But this really does help to lock heat into your hair. So I'm just flipping my head over and twisting it and tucking it in the front. And then something I used to not do, I'm going to take my deep conditioning cap. I have one linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm going to wear this and put it on high for about an hour. And it makes a world of a difference. All right, guys, so I just rinsed out my deep conditioner and my hair looks and feels amazing. So we're going to get started on this wash and go. So I'm going to spray my hair, soak it in some water, and then going to go in with my hair butter. This is a must have. I learned the hard way last week because it just keeps my hair so moisturized and I need it because those gels aren't really super hydrating in my opinion. So I'm going to work that all the way through from roots to ends. Then I'm going to take the texture foam from the dew. I've been using this like every single wash day. I think I'm going to try a new one next week, but I really, really like this one. And again, focusing on my roots because I don't play. That's where I get the most puff. And then today, instead of using the wet line gel, I'm going to use the big papa gel, which is like the pear with the mousse. And I'm going to take a good amount and apply that on my hair thoroughly and then y'all know the technique that I've been liking lately is to kind of shingle my hair which I never used to do before but like just separating each curl where it naturally clumps and just kind of smoothing the product over them from roots to ends to get as most definition as possible.
Okay, so I was like, what if we do the gel first and then the mousse? Because I've never tried it the opposite way. I just kind of wanted to see whether it would make a difference. So I wet my hair, did the hair butter, then applied the gel first to my hair. Make sure I got it all over. And then I went on top of that with the foam to see if it would make a difference. And honestly, it really didn't make a difference. So I personally think the gel should go last because if you're gonna ever get like a cast or something it's gonna come from that gel so i feel like that should go last if you like a cast if you don't maybe the mousse first would be best for you i mean the mousse last would be best for you <laughs> and so far i was impressed the definition was definitely there i wasn't mad at it and i just heard something like i was watching a youtube video and i just heard something that shocked me so that was my reaction but anyways, I'm just going to keep going with this. I'm going to shut up, I promise, for like a couple minutes. Y'all can just watch me do this with some music. But y'all will see that I start like kind of coiling my ends because this gel, it just did not define as instantly as the wet line did. So that was kind of annoying. I don't know if maybe I should have detangled the sections after applying the hair butter and then gone in with the styling products. But I just noticed like pieces were like frizzy so I kind of like coil them around my fingers to kind of stick them together if that makes sense so y'all see me do that quite a few times So it is Sunday. So it's been a couple of days since the last clip. Thursday was the day I washed my hair and applied the wash and go products. Friday and Saturday, I let my hair air dry. And then Saturday night, I just slept with my hair in that high bun like I did in the last wash and go video to stretch my hair. So 
show y'all the final results. By the way, as y'all noticed, most of this video has just been a voiceover because I wanted to combine my wash day video with the styling process as well. And I felt like if I talked the whole video, it would be really long. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about it when I'm editing the video, but y'all let me know. Do y'all prefer voiceovers, me talking in the videos, or a combination of both? I just didn't want this video to be too long because I've had some people be like, they don't like videos that are like over 45 minutes. So I'm trying to be conscious of that but y'all just let me know but anyways so this is the final look so as you guys can see my hair is super soft and super flowy you can see there is definition and yeah and i put my little bobby pin up here this the left side of my head is acting really weird today i don't know why this is what we're working with i don't know that's better i was like let me turn the exposure down a little bit so y'all can see the actual curls of my hair this gel i'm gonna give it a six and a half out of ten and i'm gonna tell you why so so first of all, compared to the wet line gel that I used last week, this does not give hold. Like it does not give crunch like I prefer. Um, my hair is super soft. There's no crunch at all. I honestly thought that the crunch was going to come from the mousse because I used the mousse last time and I never used mousse before. So I thought this was what gave it crunch, but no, it was the wet line gel. So the gel is what determines the crunch in this combo. And yeah, this did not do that. But I do feel like this gel is way more hydrating than the wet line. My hair feels so hydrated. It just looks so much shinier and has more bounce than it did last week. I'm going to give it an A plus on that. Now, the one thing I am a little bit confused about is y'all know my last wash day, I did the maximum hydration method and my hair was super defined, mostly because of that Vince Knight clay mask. And so this wash and go, I don't have as much definition as I did last week. So I don't know how much of that is on the gel and how much of that is just on me not doing that for this wash day. But again, I feel like the crunch that the wet line gel gave me is what allowed me to have more definition because when my hair dried, it did not move. Versus my hair, you know, was moving around a lot, air drying out and about, and I didn't have any crunch to kind of keep my curls together while it was air drying. So it is a little bit more voluminous for day one hair than last time. But the thing is, I'm not mad about how it looks now. I actually like the way that it looks now. My only concern is like, what is this going to look like on day four? Right, because if this was day one hair looks like, this is what my hair looked like on like day two and a half of the last wash and go versus now. It's just starting off with a lot of volume. I don't I don't know. We're going to give it a fair chance, though, and we're going to see how it works. But I'm not going to lie. I do like the gel, and I think it does pair well with the mousse. So I'm not mad at these products. I just don't think that this will be, like, my go-to gel. Like, I have to use it. It's my staple. I just think it's a little bit too light for my taste and my preference and my washing goes. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. Like, I think it's a good product. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so either next week or the week after, I'm going to be trying the Mish Beauty uh, Mousse and Gel because y'all really wanted my thoughts on that. So that's going to be coming up soon. Also have some products that I'm testing for my line that are stylers. So we might be sneaking those in in a couple of videos. I don't know. We'll see. I already know the shampoo is on its way. But I'm really having fun doing my hair once a week, reviewing these products. So y'all definitely comment whatever products y'all want me to try in the comment section. I think I bought most of y'all suggestions. So the videos will be coming soon in the next couple of weeks. So just make sure you stay tuned. Speaking of that, make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote growth. And please subscribe, y'all. We're almost a half a million. I can feel it. It's coming. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!